Hello, did you come to go mining due to Vic's video, maybe? You saw 68% return on investment and thought, this is it. Or you started several months ago and your rewards are dropping. Let's explore the main topic you need to understand when mining. Difficulty, having, UTXO. Let's dig in. Hey, it's just Ben. Today we're diving into the mining background. Don't take my word for it. Always do your own research. As always, this is not financial advice. If you're discovering Go Mining for the first time, use my link. And if you want to buy your first miner, use my code JUSTBEN for 5% increase. Let's start with the biggest mistake. Go Mining doesn't cut your rewards Bitcoin does. The network decides how much every miner earns. When more miners join, the difficulty goes up and your share per TH goes down. It's not a bug, it's math. So why does mining keep getting harder? Because more people want a piece of the same Bitcoin reward. It's part of Bitcoin's rules to adjust the network so that, on average, one block is created every 10 minutes, no matter how many miners join. In other words, the more people come in, the harder it gets to keep that 10 minute rhythm. That's the mining difficulty. And that's why your rewards get smaller. Here's another reason your rewards look smaller. You're paid in Bitcoin or in Go Mining tokens, not in dollars. When Bitcoins or the tokens price drops, your daily rewards go down too. Because you need more BTC or Go Mining to cover the same dollar cost. The maintenance fees stay the same in dollars, but they take a bigger piece of your Bitcoin. One more thing. You have seen having and don't know what it is. Stay here, else you can go to next part. So, what is it? Miners earn Bitcoin by creating blocks. And roughly every four years, Bitcoin cuts the block subsidy. That's the base reward, in half. Miners also earn fees. That's what we call the halving. It's written in Bitcoin's code. It's how the supply stays limited. There will only ever be 21 million BTC. As of today, we've already mined about 19.9 million of them. Around 2032 to 2035, we'll reach about 99%. And the very last Satoshi will be mined near 2140. So yes, when the next halving comes, you'll earn fewer Satoshis per terahash. Maybe you were around 50 sats per TH a while ago. Today it's around 41. And after the next halving, it could drop closer to 20. That also depends on network difficulty and transaction fees. But here's the key. The more efficient your NFT miner is, the less you'll feel the change. If your WTH is low, it lasts longer. Your rewards can still change even without mining difficulty, halving, and Bitcoin price. Why? Because of transaction fees, the small cost everyone pays when they send Bitcoin. When too many people send Bitcoin at once, the network gets crowded, like a highway in rush hour, and fees rise. When it's quiet, fees drop, miners earn less. And if you've seen the word UTXO somewhere, it's what remains when you pay in Bitcoin. Think of it like having $10 in pennies instead of one bill. The more small pieces you have, the more expensive it is to send them all at once. You'll pay fees on all of them. That's why sending lots of tiny amounts might cost you. The good news? Inside Go Mining, everything happens off-chain. You can move and withdraw without paying Bitcoin network fees. Until you send your BTC to an external wallet. That's when the real fees appear. So now you know why your rewards keep going up and down mining difficulty. Having. Bitcoin price, and fees. But there's one last thing that can still hit your earnings. How you manage minor war. That's for the next video. Like if it helped, and subscribe for the next one.